Good morning, hello, and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful morning. Uh, before we go, uh, let's do some sound check here. Just make sure we have good sound. I got a new, actually, this is my old microphone, so it's not, it's not the best. Okay, hold on. Let me check the sound before we move on. Uh, if you guys can hear me, uh, let me know. Uh, the, if you guys can hear me, uh, let me. Let me know in the comment section as well. Okay. And then let's see here. Sounds like we have sound. All right. I hope you guys are having a, you guys had a long, I heard you guys had a great long weekend. Okay. So we had a, uh, let's see here. Memory all day weekend uh, yesterday as well. So yeah, it's been pretty, it's been pretty nice. Okay. Uh, if you're a first time joining us, welcome to live streaming guys. We have, we got some few people on the live chat as well. We have a Linda's on, Ken, we got the liver, we got Richard Ahmed. Yeah, we got some, a few friends on this morning. Uh, Richard from France. And we have friends from all over the world. Okay, they're joining us for the, our live streaming here. Rain's on as well. Ahmed, yeah, you guys are always here. Fantastic. Uh, we got some new, uh, the liver blow. I think that's, I wonder someone new. Uh, first time, uh, shout out to Brent as well. We got we got a few people watching right now. Okay, so this morning, and uh, let's talk about. Okay, if you guys coming to my channel for over the years, so my channel is mostly kind of loosely. Okay, okay, kind of like Bravo Brewster channel, okay, Bravo Brewster Express, Bravo Brewster Pro, kind of like this is my main theme of this channel. And also in the afternoon session, uh, uh, we usually play with uh, different grinders as well. Okay, I mean, I mean I, as you can see, I got a couple of grinders on my back here. You know, I got you know, a few grinders. It's fun, but again, I mean, ninety-nine percent of you out there, you guys don't need that. All right, you guys don't need it to make great coffee. Okay, you only need something like this. Bravo Vista Express is nice, pro is okay. When I started my channel about four years ago, I only pay uh, 450 for this one, 450 or just under 500 bucks. Because I had a coupon code from uh, Bath and Beyond, all right? Bath and Beyond got 20% off. At the time, Bravo Vista Express was on sale. So, you know, just under $500. Guess what? Right now, if you go to Amazon, setting for 750. All right. I mean, you figure price should go down. Actually, you went opposite. Went up. Seven fifty for the uh, Express, and if you are looking at the Pro model, you are looking at around eight fifty. That is quite a bit, I have to say. I mean, that's quite pricey. But once in a while, okay, once in a while, you guys see like hundred dollars up here and there. So that's kind of like a couple times a year. And then if I saw something like that. I'm gonna let you know. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go quick live streaming and let you guys know the price drop. But is that? I mean, if you want coffee today, you know, I mean, saving hundred bucks over what next five ten years, it's not a that's very insignificant. So, I mean, if you guys want it, you know what? Just get one. Okay, I, I do have a link down below as well. So make sure I just click it and get yourself a nice machine. Okay. How many of you, okay, I'm very curious. Spending $800 on coffee machine is outrageous. Yeah, let me know, okay. I mean, I, mean, I was that person way back when. I was thinking about spending even $500 on coffee machine. I thought, you know, I thought I was crazy, all right? My wife thought, you know, this is not right because uh, my first coffee machine cost me, what, 15 bucks, 15, 20 bucks at the garage sale. So, yeah, spending 500 bucks, yeah. But now, uh, years later, okay, years later, goodness, uh, one of my grinder cost me more than my car cost, okay, my car cost there. So uh, it is, times change, okay, times change. So, I mean, this is what happens when coffees become your obsession or hobby, all right? I mean, if you just want to make good coffee in the morning, so this morning I'm going to share with you, okay, I'm going to, Shout out to my buddy, uh, Dogman. I wonder Dogman is on the, our live chat or not. So Dogman uh, thinks that I, th I think I cannot make great coffee with 
Probably Boost Express uh, using Say Coffee. So I'm on the Say monthly subscription. Uh, so this is the Buckeye, okay? This is Buckeye. Hold on, let, hold on. This is Buckeye. Uh, this is the Brandy. Uh, this is the wash process. Great tasting notes, all right? In the cup, we find blood orange, black tea, and currant, okay? So, I have no idea what the grind size is going to be. So let's talk about it in about a few minutes. But before we go, I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer here. Uh, let's talk about the settings, okay? So, so this is uh, my friend from Good Brothers Coffee. So Neapolitan, okay, so this is dark roast, all right? So dark roast. Dark roast comes to water temperature. I, I want to be a little cooler. So, so I go maybe like minus one, okay? I want minus one. But, so this C coffee is extremely light. So I, I have to go plus two, I, I have to go max, all right? So before we're gonna do that, we are going to change the temperature, okay? How to change temperature? Okay, uh, if you don't know how to do it, I have a full tutorial on my channel, but let me show you, you know, I can tell you about a couple of seconds. You're gonna hold down the program button first, power button, I'm at plus two, okay? I'm at the maximum right now, okay? I'm at max already. But uh, if you wanna play with a darker roast, so I wanna go maybe like, uh, maybe like minus two, okay? So minus one, minus two. I think minus two or minus four. I think minus one, minus two. Shut it down, the machine again. Hold down the program button. Power. Press power button. So now we are at the cooler temperature, okay? So that's how you change your temperature. So I'm gonna go back to plus two again, okay? because I want to get hot as possible, okay? You guys hear all that sound? I think my solenoid is getting old, okay? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna heat up my port filter here. By the way, don't worry about, okay? If I were you, don't worry about the uh, tools right now, all right? I mean, tools, I mean, that's what it is. Okay, don't worry about buying, you know, fancy tools. It's not gonna make coffee any better, all right? Uh, just got stock tempers is okay too. But I mean, if you want something a little nice, okay. Uh, Gnome Core or uh, 3H Bomber, they make pretty nice spring-loaded temper as well. So again, in the beginning, you already invest quite a bit of money. Uh, only thing you need, you know what? I do highly recommend uh, 3D dosing funnel, okay. Uh, if you have a 3D uh, printer, just print one uh, for free. If not, just go get yourself uh, from Amazon. Plastic, hands-free. It's gonna be, make your life a lot easier, all right? So this one I highly recommend, okay. So let's do uh, 18 gram. So let's go with the say. Okay. So let's go with the say coffee here. So this is the Buckeye. It's called Buckeye, it's the brand. Uh, great, I uh, love the tasting notes. Okay, here we go. Again, the Bravo Vista Express is a, uh, it's about what, 40 millimeter conical burr, okay. It's not too bad. Uh, comes to my grind size, I think I'm just set at seven for now. Okay, set at seven. I think it's about seven here. Nope, number eight. Number eight is at my grind size. Okay, I'm just gonna put the coffee bins. I like to do single dose. I, I like to measure out, usually. Comes to workflow for Brista Express is very simple and easy. Just lock it in. Okay, it's gonna be a little loud. All right, it's gonna be a little, 
you're gonna hear it. It's gonna be a little tired. This motor's been been through a lot over the years. So yeah, yeah, here we go. As you can see, you know, it's going, but yeah, it's a little tired. But it's okay. All right. It's been great machine for the last five years. Four or five years. I'm just gonna tap on the top. Yeah. Yeah. Now it has been great machine, I have to say. All right. And then this is my homemade WDT tools. Okay. I'm just gonna go do some light distribution here. Okay. Just go light, very light. Well, hopefully I can show you guys. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, rubber mats. Okay. This is must, guys. Just get yourself, you know, uh, just get the rubber mat. As you can see, it's not much in there, right? Because uh, the light rows are a lot heavier. So volume is going to be lower. Okay. Uh, con uh, in contrast, the darker rows, it's going to be a lot, uh, I guess, more. You're going to see a lot more. Okay, I'm just going to distribution tool here, spring loaded temper. So now you have plenty of head space. Okay, plenty of head space. So uh, one tool I really enjoy the just the puck screen. That's a just the puck screen. I'm just going to hit up my puck screen there. So now water should be nice and hot, coming down. Let's lock it in. All right, let's pull the shot. Again, I think I'm gonna go a little longer shot. I think I'm gonna do about five seconds pre-infusion. I do about five seconds pre-infusion, maybe five or six. And then let's go for uh, let's see, uh, so this is a lighter roast, maybe like 40, uh, 45 gram, maybe 50 gram, okay? So let's do that. I'm gonna go manual mode. I'm just gonna hold down the one button here. I'm gonna wait about five seconds. And let go. Yeah. Let's go about 50 gram. You see, um, I can see some channeling as well. Let's go 50. I got 25 seconds at 52 gram. Okay. As you can see, got some channeling too. Okay. Uh, with a lighter roast, it's very tricky. All right. It's uh, very tricky too dialed in properly all right but uh comes to shot time i think this is not bad okay this is not bad there all right so shot time is fine it's about what 20 what three seconds and 50 gram so here we go cheers everybody man it smells great I, I can smell that blood orange what else i'm smelling here i can um definitely black tea as well so this cup is pretty hot. Okay, here we go, cheers. Wow. I have to say, that is quite pleasant. Okay. If someone say Bravo Booster Express or Pro cannot make good light roast, man, you have to try this coffee. Okay. I mean, so this, uh, I mean, I got lucky on the grind size as well. I just try what, just uh, number eight? Okay, that's it. Grand size number eight. Very pleasant. Oh, I love the the finishing taste notes, the current. Very nice. Okay, very nice. Uh, if a dog man is watching, I'm telling you, I, I bet you, you know what? I, mean, I, I wish I had a, someone here right now, we can do blind tasting. I can compare that with my, uh, Robert, uh, wait, little like Bianca right next to me. Compare that with a stock, okay? So this is stock grinder, okay? Stock grinder with 
uh, 54 millimeter. Okay. So this coffee is quite, quite nice. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, I love the blood orange finishing there. They're fantastic. They're fantastic. You know, I'm, I'm very curious now. Is how many of you, okay, how many wants to see I'm going to be brewed this coffee with uh, Lilac Bianca with uh, Calf Attack, MC5, okay? Uh, we have about 11 thumbs up right now, so let's go for like 30 thumbs up. And uh, if you guys want to see it, uh, give me about 30 thumbs up there total. Uh, if you would do it, yeah, uh, we're going to... So let's do it, okay? If someone wants to see it, I want to see a 30 thumbs up. It's only 19 to go, okay? We need uh, 19 more thumbs up. Uh, we did uh, uh, the Le Bianca with the Cafe Tech MC5, okay? Because now we are at 14, okay? Now we are at 14 right now. By the way, if you're just joining us for the first, first time, we are doing the simulcast as well. Simulcast, okay? Uh, we are doing the simulcast with my Discord. So if you guys want to join my Discord, uh, just send me a quick email, okay? Just send me a quick email. And I'm going to send you my link. So right now we have uh, quite a few people on the Discord at the moment. So, yeah. Okay, we are 28. Great. We are closing up. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to say coffee. Okay. And I'm going to be using my Cafe Tech MC5. All right. We're going to do Cafe Tech MC5. So let's put that in perspective. Okay. So this is about, okay, so if you buy brand new today, it's about 750 bucks. So you are looking at, let's say $800, all right? 800 bucks. Lele Bianca, right now, if you buy a new one today, version three, you are looking about three grand to 3,500 bucks, 35. Uh, grinder right there, my Cafetech MC5. Oh goodness, it's gonna be about, so that one is, uh, I, I got custom. So let's say just the stock, okay, stock MC5, no upgrades. You're looking at around like 2,700 bucks. So let's say three grand. So you got $6,500 setup versus 800, okay? All right, so let's find out, let's find out which, and uh, so I got this coffee from, uh, again, this is Say Coffee. Man, the, I, I love the, the finishing tasting notes as well. The blood orange are fantastic. So, so let's give it a try. Okay, let's give it a try there. It's going to be better with Bianca, but my question, I mean, so here's what I like to answer for you guys. How much better? Okay, it's how much better. Um, it comes to coffee. I mean, this is fantastic coffee. Can't go wrong with, uh, can't go wrong with the say coffee. Okay. So we're going to do another 18 gram here. Okay, we're going to do, let's do 18 gram. I'm going to, uh, let's do a quick RDT. Right. Okay. Bring you guys to. So this is my Capitec MC5. Uh, comes the grind size. Man, uh, hold on. Okay. So I got lucky with the Brista Express earlier. Okay. So hopefully we're gonna get lucky one more time here. Hopefully we're gonna get lucky one more time. I'm just gonna guess it right now. Just gonna guess. Yeah, I'm just guessing it. Here we go. Get my coffee machine ready, meantime.
Okay. Man, it doesn't. Goodness, you, you see this? I wonder. I, I went too far. Okay, I wonder if this is too fine. Let's find out, guys. I'm a little nervous about this one here. I wonder if they're too fine. You see it? Man, you see the head space there? Huh. I'm not sure about this one, guys. I'm just gonna put the screen in. Okay, great thing about uh, Lillette Bianca, okay? Uh, you if grind size is too fine, I can use a flow control to remedy that, All right? Okay, here we go. Okay. All right, guys, let's give it a try. Oh, goodness. It was too, it's not too bad. Yeah, I think it's going to be too fine, but looks pretty good so far, guys. I think we got lucky as well. Let's go for 50 gram, just like uh, Bravo Beast Express. Forty-eight, uh, forty-eight gram at twenty-seven seconds. Boy, uh, today's my lucky day. All right, look at this beautiful shot as well. Yeah, today is my lucky day. The Ryan's, the dogman say blooming shot. All right, so so let's try with a just straight espresso. So, oops. So this is more like ah. Uh, 18 gram in, about 50 gram out. So this is actually quite nice, all right? I mean, this is a, I mean, I, mean, I take this uh, all day long. Uh, so this water temp is about 200 degree right now. Okay, 200 degree there. So this is uh, using the MC5 as grinder. Here we go, cheers everybody. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday morning. I know some of you are evening as well. We got some few people watching. Yeah, make sure a thumbs up. We got 31 thumbs up so far. We got about 53 people watching. Here we go, cheers. Okay. Goodness. I mean, this coffee is really nice. All right. So this coffee is earlier from Bravo Pista Express. It's been nicely cooled down. I'm gonna try it one more time. All right. So this is the MC5 with Lillette Bianca. So it's, it's about, so let's say it's about six grand setup. Okay, six thousand dollars setup here. Actually, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna add all the tools on it, Steve is right. It's about seven grand. Uh, MC5 is slightly better balanced, okay? Uh, slightly better balanced, a little bit more sweeter, all right? Sweeter than uh, Bravo Brista Express. Bravo Brista Express, the ability grinder that comes with tasting notes, a little muddy, but uh, blood orange and current is, I mean, come through, okay? I can taste that. I can taste the blood orange and current, kind of like black tea finished. That's all there. The MC5 is more balanced, more cleaner, more, uh, more uh, it's a tiny bit sweeter. But if I'm gonna rate this, right? If I'm gonna one through 10, okay? If, if, if this coffee is 10, fantastic, okay? Very light, very pleasant. If this is 10, Bravo Vista Express, I get about seven, seven point five, seven point five, seven point five eight. 
All right. It's not that far off. Okay. I mean, I mean, if my son come to me, he got to be on the class, right? I'd be happy with it. Okay. I mean, if he got an A, that's great. A plus is even better. But we are, we're not talking about huge difference. I mean, if this coffee is like four or five, okay. But 7.5 to 8, that's not bad. Okay, you have to say, if you're spending $800 on coffee machine, I mean, this kind of quality. Okay, I know some of you are kind of like, is that really right? Okay, but I mean, that's why, I mean, I, 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 mean, I used to have some people come in, do the blind tasting for me, but unfortunately, uh, uh, one of my friends is missing for a while, okay? You know who that is, Sal? Sal, if you're watching, yeah, Sal's been kind of like in and out, okay? Some days he comes in for a week at a time. He's missing for months at a time, so yeah. Uh, he is actually a coffee guy, so hopefully I'm going to have somebody uh, join me, hopefully this weekend, okay? We're going to do some nice comparison. But uh, again, hold on a second here. Now, now try the... Robert Express and Cafe Tech. Hold on. Anyway, uh, again, uh, if you are looking for good coffee every single morning, I mean, I mean, don't look farther, guys. Okay, just Robert Express Pro. Even Impress is nice as well. But if I'm gonna choose between all those three, okay. So thermal block on Express thermal block. Impress is a thermal coil, okay, thermal coil, and the Bravo the Pro is thermal jet. So it's three different technology, and you know three different price point as well. It's, it's about hundred dollars difference each, but I feel like Pro and Express give you the Impress. The Impress give you that you know kind of like assist temping, okay. In the beginning, that's fine, okay. I think you guys might like that, okay, but. Within like few months, once you get used to it, I'm telling you, I mean, you want to actually practice with, with your temper as well. So I, I guess I guess I prefer a little bit more manual than impressed, but yeah, you know, let me know what you guys think, guys. Okay, let me know what you guys think about, you know, your, are you guys looking for a new coffee machine right now? Or if not, are you happy with your Express at home? Okay, because you're not going to get much the quality of shots. I mean, if you're, if you're drinking good coffee right now, okay, if you spend another, what, three, four thousand dollars on your next coffee machine setup, man, I'm, I'm telling you, it's not, it's not that significant jump, okay? Unless, okay, unless if, a co if coffee is your hobby, that's all comes down to it. If a coffee is your hobby for you, Sure, get play with the different tools, different water chemistry, okay, uh, different coffee. But if your if your goal is every single morning, you want to have a good coffee in the morning and go to work, okay. If that is your goal every single day, get yourself nice coffee, fresh roast coffee. That's all you need. You don't need to buy fancy coffee. That's it. That's all you need. All right. That's all you need. Hold on. Uh, we have DK ask, hey, hun, how about trying Costco single origin coffee beans? Uh, you know what? The problem with the Costco coffee beans, you have to buy two pound bag. Okay. If I'm going to make a couple of videos and after that, I don't know what to do with that one. And hey, you know what? Maybe I should do it. Okay. Yeah, let's do that, DK. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right, well, let's do that maybe next couple of days. Rain say, our Brista Express is 15 bar. Would you interest in new? Okay, so new coffee machine came out, right? The, the newer Brista Express, according to Bravo, uh, Bravo, they are nine bar. They set at nine bar. So this machine set at like 15 bars, okay? 14 or 15 bars, which means they give you a really strong initial like, power there. Okay, I mean, that's another reason. I like to use the puck screen as well. That's kind of like slow down the flow, but the main reason I'm using the uh, puck screen, not because you're going to get a better coffee, 
because of dry puck. That's the only reason. All right. That's the only reason I'm I'm using the puck screen. That's it. Because I know if if you uh, whenever you watch lately, like YouTube Shorts or TikTok, they talk about puck screen a lot, right? They say it's going to be a game changer. Ah, uh, uh, maybe not. Okay, this is a game changer for having a dry puck. All right. So I mean, what works really good? Hold on. Let let's see here as well. So this is the earlier lighter roast. Yep, again, the dry puck, okay. So which means you're gonna have a cleaner, okay, cleaner group head. All right, hold on a second here. Uh, Ahmed say, can I change the pressure to nine bar on my Serbia? Uh, you can tr try to change the overpressure valve uh, on Serbia as well. Little, I'm not, I don't remember, okay, I, I'm not quite sure. Did you reduce the pressure with the OPB mount? Okay, uh, if, hold on. I, I think I still have it here. Hold on a second, guys. A uh, couple, well, sometime last year, someone asked me about the mod on Vista Express. Okay, I cannot find it. I cannot find it. And uh, I actually uh, made a video on that as well. So you can, uh, you can buy this device from Amazon for like seven or eight bucks. You can control the, the power, the power of your uh, motor, okay? So you can actually do the pre-infusion. Uh, you can actually change the uh, actual pressure of the pump. But you know what? I mean, so I did that for a couple of weeks. I play with it. Ah, it's pain, okay? Because the wire is hanging from the side. Just a gimmick, all right? I mean, for me, I mean, that's the gimmick, okay? You, you're going to make... Make, you're going to make better coffee? Maybe not. Yeah. Okay, Torah. So, have you ever tried the Gaza Espresso? Uh, again, the Gaza Classic Pro. It's about 400, uh, 450 bucks on Amazon right now. That is... Uh, again, if you are into espresso only, uh, that is a great, fantastic machine. Fantastic machine. Okay. But that's great entry level. All right. Great entry level coffee machine. They're kind of like two different uh, machines. Gaza Classic Pro is more for the someone loves espresso. Like Bravo, Express, or Pro. That was something enjoyed the uh, espresso and also milk-based drink as well. Okay, so you can do both. So, so you have to pick one. If you only care about the espresso, go with the Gaza Classic Pro. Okay, and then get yourself a decent grinder. You are set. But if you wanted to kind of like one and done, uh, Express or Pro, I mean, they're fine, okay? And then, but if you want to take next to another level, okay? And if you are enjoying coffee so much that, you know what? I don't mind spending a couple hours every single week, okay? Spend a uh, play with grind size, water chemistry, all that fun stuff. And then now you need to think about, okay, what's my next coffee machine? And what's my next coffee grinder? So that's kind of like, uh, we are going down the rabbit hole, okay? Um, if you guys want that, again, uh, send me a quick email. I'm gonna send you my Discord link for you because my Discord is unlike any other Discord out there. You can actually come join us on live chat, okay? Uh, we are on pretty much all the time. Right now, we got some people, uh, we are doing the simulcast right now. We got some few, a few friends on as well. We have Steve's there, we have Linda's there. So yeah, people can come in hang out with us, you can ask me questions. It's very laid back, very personable. We have Linda say, if you had a 2000, what you do choose? Next coffee machine, two grand, uh, nothing, okay. I think I'd be happy with uh, Bravo Vista Express if I have two grand. If I have a 5000, that's a different story because you have to buy coffee machine and then you have to buy coffee grinder as well. So you have to buy two things. So two grand is not going to cut it, all right? It's going to get you there, but yeah, two grand is, yeah. Two grand is not going to cut it. So um, if you're budgeted two grand right now, okay, here's the thing. If you have a Bravo Pista Express or Pro at home, if your next coffee bar service of two grand, if I were you, hold on, save your money, 
okay? And then get the coffee machine and get the grinder you want, all right? So save about, ideally set about, uh, set about five grand, okay? You figure three grand for coffee machine and two grand for like uh, coffee grinders because you want more than one grinder, okay? You want, the, you, you want more than one grinder for sure. So you want one conical, one flat, and then you're gonna get the pretty good coffee machine. So about 5,000. Until then, just keep using whatever you have because if not, what you, here's what's gonna happen. You are going to get the coffee machine that kind of like halfway up and you are going to, you wanna buy another coffee machine down the road anyway, okay? So instead of, I want you to skip the middle, okay? Entry level machine you have, if you really like it, save the money and go for the end, okay? Kind of like we talk about the end game or, you know, the, the you know, end game setup, right? I don't know. I don't know who come up with the end game. I think someone did a while back. So, yeah, just, just get the coffee machine, the dream, you know, coffee machine of your dream. Get that one and grind it as well. Because until then, it's like uh, you're going to be like uh, you wish you want something else. Okay. Uh, we have a little, little uh, I think the Crossland CC1 is a better option to start instead of a Bravo lined up. Crossland, I have to look at that, okay. I think that's something new, I wonder, okay, Crossland. Let's see here, it's been about 36 minutes, we've been hanging out and talking. Uh, I'll be back later this afternoon, for sure. Again, if you are just joining us, uh, just joining us now, uh, we talk about the uh, Bravo Boost Express. We uh, play with a light roast. This is really light, okay? This coffee is really light from Say Coffee. Uh, blood orange, black tea, and currant. Te uh, telling you, it's pretty neck and neck with Lele Bianca with the Cafetech MC5. We did the two comparison. Obviously, Lele Bianca with the MC5 is a uh, taste a little better but it's not a it's not a game changer let's put it that way okay it's not a life-changing experience okay and make sure to spend money on your coffee too all right make sure to spend some money on coffee so let's see here what else i think we are good for this morning i hope you guys are having a wonderful morning and i'll be back later today okay and then uh, we are going to talk about some more coffee stuff uh, again, if you guys want to join our Discord, just uh, send me a quick link, a okay? quick email, all right? Send me a quick email. I'm going to send you the link for you so you can, you guys can come hang out. So this is a layback. My live stream is pretty layback anyway, but my Discord is even more layback. So, I mean, you can ask me all kinds of questions. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. We have great group of coffee community here. So uh, if, you have, uh, if you have any issues with the uh, Bravo machine, we have a dog man. 22 is ready to help you. Okay, he is one of our uh, Bravo expert. I mean, he, he knows more than I do. So make sure to reach out to Dogman22. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning.